Hey guys, welcome to the 172nd C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, uh, we're going to continue working on our address book project. And basically what we're going to be doing is have all of the user's information update whenever they select a different person. And we're also going to make it so that you can remove uh, people from your book. Alright, so the first thing that we're just going to want to do right here is select our list view and go down to the um, selected index changed event and this will basically occur whenever the user selects a different item in the list view. And then we just want all this information right here to update. So we want this text box uh, to hold the person's uh, name. So we're just going to say text box one's text equals um, the person's name that you have selected. So luckily we have all the people stored inside of this person list right here so we can say people for our person list and the index of the person access is the same index of the item you have selected in the list view. So we can just say list view one dot selected items and then we just want to get the index of the item that you have selected. So we're just going to put zero inside of these brackets right here since we're only making it so that you can select one item at a time. And like I said, we just want the index of this item so we're going to use the index property to get that. Alright, and then we want text box one's text to be the person's name so we're just going to do dot name right here. Alright, so now when we debug, let's just make sure that this works. So if we add a person, Adam, if we add another person, Bob, and if we select Adam right here, Adam should show up in this text box. Yep, if we select Bob, Bob should show up in this text box. Alright, perfect. Alright, now we just want to do that for all of the other um, pieces of information. So we're going to say text box 2's text equals um, the person's email address, so we're just going to copy this and do dot email, and text box 3's text is the person's street address, so we can just do dot street address, and text box 4 will be for the additional notes or additional information, so we can just do dot additional notes. Alright, and the last thing that we have to change is this date time picker 1's value, which is the person's birthday. So we're just going to say date time picker one dot value equal to the person's birthday. So dot birthday. All right, now let's just go ahead and make sure that this works. So if we add Adam right here, email address, whatever, at gmail.com, street address, something on Main Street, um, any birthday, and additional notes. Add that. Now, if we had another person called Bob, their email address is whatever to street address, anything, additional notes, none. All right, so now let's just make sure that this works. If we select Adam, all of my information should show up right here. Yep, and if we select Bob, all of his information should show up right there. Perfect. All right, so the last thing that we have to do here is basically just remove the person that you have selected. So we're just going to go ahead and double click on this remove button. And since we wanted to be able to remove people when you click on this button and when you select the remove option from the context menu, um, we're just going to create a method so we don't have to copy and paste code. So we're just going to say void remove. And we're just going to uh, basically want to remove the person from this list view and from this person list up here, this people list. So we're going to say... Um, list view one dot items dot remove and then just remove the item that you have selected so list view one dot selected items and zero since you can only have one item selected at a time and now we just want to remove uh, the person from this people list or this person list right here so we're going to say people dot remove at and now we just want to put the index of the item that we want to remove and that would be the index of the item that you have selected in the list view. So list view one dot selected items, and then you, since you can only have one item selected, we're just going to put zero in there, and then the index of that item. All right, and we're just going to want to put a try and catch around this because sometimes you may have no items selected in the list view, and then the index would be negative one, and that's not a valid index, so it would throw an error. So we're just going to put a try and catch around this and we're just going to make the catch do nothing so that you will never know um, if you don't have an item selected. Alright, and now we're just going to want to call this remove method 
um, when you click on the button and when you select that item from the context menu strip. So just double click on this item in your context menu strip right here and call the remove method. Alright, so let's just go ahead and make sure that this works. We add a person, Adam, add another person, Bob, and third person, Joe. Now we should just be able to right click and click remove. And if we select Joe and click remove, it removes him as well. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. So, see you guys.